What is up guys, it's Adam Bomb and welcome to another episode of Scrap Mechanic. In this episode, I'm super excited to introduce you guys to my new build. This is going to be a Ferris wheel. If you can tell how high I am up, you can tell this is going to be a pretty badass Ferris wheel. So as you know that the middle of the Ferris wheel is just the radius, so this is going to be twice as tall as it already is and we're going to try and make any and we're going to try and make as many carts as we possibly can to hold on this ferris wheel so that people can get in and ride it. Right now my plan is to have eight spokes because I think doing any more than that would be ridiculous. So basically I'm going to have uh, one... So basically I'm going to have the ferris wheel rotate around a single bearing and then have two separate perpendicular spoke directions so that everything matches up nicely and it looks exactly like a ferris wheel. It will look a tiny bit off just due to the fact that it's hard to make a perfect circle in this game, but it's gonna be so big that it's gonna be hard to tell the difference. So anyways, the first thing I wanna do is put our first block down. So that block is going to be for the spokes that go out this way. Oh, that's already moving. I should probably add a controller first to make sure it doesn't go crazy. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys the problem I have right now. I need to decide where to put the controller because of the fact that the uh, Ferris wheel is going to have spokes on both sides of it so that I can have one at 45 degree angle and one at parallel. So I'm trying to decide where I could put the controller without it interfering with anything. I guess I could put it on the side here. I need to make sure that it goes high enough so that it reaches the top. And if it can't reach the top, we're gonna have some problems. So I'm gonna go up there and try and get this on the side. Like right, right up there would be really nice. All right, so that's the very top. So this controller is going to be for this wheel and then I'm gonna need to do another one on the other side. You guys will get what I mean when I say two different sizes of spokes. I will actually do that right now. So right now I'm building rafters so that I can get across to this other side. It's pretty crazy that I have to do this for this build, but that's just how it is. Um, it's going to be a really tall build, so I'm not going to be able to rely as much on the lift as much as I normally do, unfortunately. Okay, so on this other side at the very top there, I'm going to place another bearing and another block. And so I need to connect this block up here to this controller. And then I'm going to set this controller to be plus 45. And so now you guys can kind of see what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to add this and this. And then I'm going to go to the other side. Man, this build is going to be so tedious. I hope you guys leave a like on this because it is going to take me so much time. I estimate that I'll be spending at least a few hours building this thing. It's not the most complex of ideas, but it's certainly one of those builds that is going to take a lot of patience. Okay, now that we're at the top of this thing, we can add the other side of the spoke that was very hard to get to. And I'm going to make that as tall as possible. And then right at the intersection, uh, it's really hard to reach that point. Right? And then I'm going to take that out as far as possible. There we go. And then I need to connect this one to the controller before things start to get really crazy. Okay, so then we're going to connect this other bearing to this controller and it's perfectly set. So now you guys can kind of get a view of what I want this thing to look like. I really wish there was an undo button in this game. I mean, my god, it's driving me crazy. Okay, we're back to good. And then I need to make sure this one lines up also. Alright, so let's hop off this and see what it looks like right now. Um, I don't think this one was actually perfect, so I'm going to try and make this as long as I can. So at this point, I'm going to have to decide how long I want each spoke to be. And this spoke right here is going to be the defining one. This is the one that will decide, or I'm sorry, this one will be the one that decides how long the others need to be. So I'm going to put it down a little bit more because the cards that I'm going to have for each of the carousel riders uh, should be dangling and I don't want it to touch the ground. Obviously, if it starts scraping the ground, we have a bad, bad thing happening and the ride won't work. So I need to decide about, probably about there, what I'm going to do. And then on the end of each one of these spokes, I'm going to put one of those and that's where people will ride on. Now I need to make sure that all of them are the same length. That's going to be kind of tedious, so I'm going to do that off camera. Okay, now I have all these spokes done. It's kind of a mess right now, but what? Oh, look at that shadow. It looks perfect. Anyways, now I have to connect these circles, which is going to be a huge pain in the butt. And I really have to hope that the issue of having two different um, bearings doesn't affect how this thing rotates. If it does, I'm going to be in for a lot more work and I'm going to have to do two on 
top of each other. So I really hope that doesn't happen. But anyways, let's get started with this. I'm going to build it out so that it's more circular and each one's connected to each other. And then what I have to do is connect these spokes that are separated by one block to each other. So yeah, we're just going to come up with that hopefully in a few minutes here. And oh boy, this is going to be intense. I might want to switch building materials because I don't know if wooden blocks would look good for the whole thing. Okay, so I decided that it's going to be too much of a pain in the butt to use anything other than wood. It doesn't make that much of an aesthetic difference, but doing everything else one by one, which is what you have to do for non-material blocks, is going to be a pain in the butt. So we're just going to do it with wood, and that's what I'm sticking to. Alright guys, so I've gone back on my original plan. I've decided it's going to be way easier to put the Ferris wheel all on the same side instead of having one side on the other. It's just going to be a nightmare if I do that and I can't even get it them to connect together like a normal ferris wheel would look like so some seats would be on the back uh, just what a mess so I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna go back and get rid of this side and then we'll go to the other side alrighty guys I'm back to my creation here and what we have is I switched the spokes to be on only one side because we had the issue where things weren't connecting it was just pretty much a bad idea from the start so this should work a lot better, even though we won't be able to connect things perfectly, uh, it should still work a lot better in that we will have everything on the same side. With the 45 degree angles, things just aren't going to work as nicely, and that's just how it's going to have to be. Alright guys, well this is the ferris wheel, this is the first part of it, now I have to go around and copy the whole thing. So basically along this whole side, I'm going to put these things all the way around it. So this is going to separate the uh, two different layers that I want so that basically we can have something hang under this and there'll be enough room and it will give the actual look of the Ferris wheel to have some volume because volume is good. We want it to look like there's some physicality to it. And obviously most Ferris wheels are pretty large. So that should do the trick. And then it should start looking like a real Ferris wheel. God, this is taking me so long. I've been recording now for probably like three hours, so I really hope you guys like this one. It's costing me some sweat and blood. I'm probably gonna cry if the game crashes on me. Oh my God, look at how slow this thing is moving now, guys. Uh, I think the weight has officially made this like the slowest moving Ferris wheel ever. So yeah, now we have a little bit of a weight problem. Um, Something I didn't expect. It's so, I had no idea that the, the weight affected the bearings. I always just assumed it was fine. So this is not good. Let me see if it's on its fastest setting. Oh, it is. Oh, we are so screwed. Oh no. So I got a big decision here, guys. Do I want to keep doing this this way and have the slowest, slowest Ferris wheel I've ever seen? Do I want to add more bearings to increase the speed but add to the complexity? Or do I want to just take out some of the material I use to make it lighter? Oh, it just would have looked so nice like that. Oh, I'm so sad about that. So it finally got to the position I wanted it to. I don't, I don't even know. It's just going so slow I can't, can't even tell. Uh, so this isn't good. Uh, I think I'm just going to have to make it more bare bones. So my plan now, guys, is to take out the blue pieces, but where there was a connection between the two, I'm going to put wood there, and then we're just going to have to do that. That's just going to have to be our wheel, because otherwise the weight will be way too much. So this is kind of what it's going to look like. Okay, guys, she's finally done. Um, at least the uh, Ferris wheel part of things is done. Now we need to build our rider car. And for now, I'm only going to build one of them because I'm really afraid what will happen if I add too many and the weight is too high. So we're just going to add one cart for now and then we'll fix that later. All right, guys, here's what I've got so far. It's very rough, but basically all I want to do right now is connect this to the controller so that we can start up the Ferris wheel from whenever we want from this control car. The rest of the cars will probably be regular cars. This is the one that will lead the pack and basically make the ferris wheel go around. So let's balance out the weight right here in the front. Uh, it looks like it's still uneven. Yep, I need another one. Okay, so let's put the switch there and then let's connect it again. I forgot, I every time I delete a switch, I have to go reconnect it. And let's connect the driver's seat to that switch. And now we have a way to control our ride. Now I just need to add a little bit of weight in the back so that it doesn't tip over quite as much. Okay, so here we go. The weight is actually pretty balanced out. 
Um, now what I want to do with the controller is basically set this to, so this really here doesn't matter, the starting point does not matter. We can change it so that the other one rotates with us to make it go faster. I'm kind of glad I did that in the beginning, but now I'm just going to set these all to 360. Okay, I'm going to hop in this. This could be horribly glitchy and it could fail. There we go. We're doing it not. Okay, now I have to figure out what happened. Maybe it's my own car blocking its progression. I'm not exactly sure. Okay, I set it to spin again. It's going around. Yes, we did it. Holy crap, look at that. Oh my god, it's a death ride. Oh god, things are happening. Oh my god, this is a death trap. Holy crap, that is amazing. Well, it's working now. I don't know what happened, but it's kind of insane. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, well, uh, that's a Ferris wheel for you, I guess. Okay, so now I reloaded it back to normal. Now I'm going to try and hop in and ride it myself. I don't know. Oh, maybe that was why it's not working, because I'm too tall for this thing? Is that what's happening? That would be really weird. Okay, it's working, it's working. Oh god, things are happening. It's working! We're going upside down. Oh, this is so cool. I feel like my game's gonna break at any moment right now. It sounds like a ride, too. Oh my god, this thing is nuts. I'm just gonna play it for you guys for a while so you can see how crazy this thing is. Oh my god, this thing is so amazing. We made a Ferris wheel. Even though it's very scary. It's more like a human centrifuge. Uh, yeah, this thing is dangerous. I would not ride this in real life. There is no way. The G-forces have got to be crazy. Oh, uh, why am I stuck up here now? That's not good. Well, anyways, um, I'm going to try and turn the speed down and see what happens if we do that. Whee! Alright, so we're going to turn it down from fast to slow. Maybe before that was the only... Why is that not coming down now? Oh, it is. It's very glitchy. Um, can I please get back up there somehow? What if I set this to rotate? Uh, like 360. Oh, it's too slow, that's why. Now it's fast enough. Okay. It's still a death trap even at this speed. Oh my god. Is there, like, any way I can get it to be a normal speed? Holy crap. Well, I hope this didn't make any of you too dizzy. Like, oh my god. Oh, this is a nice speed. This isn't totally insane. So I did find a- managed to find a speed that isn't totally crazy. Um, apparently not. So there is a very fine line for the speed. If it's going too slow, it's not gonna work. Uh, so yeah, there's that. It, it is very cool though. It does take some tinkering around. If you guys want to see this creation again and maybe have me put more carts on it and just do more stuff with it, make it look prettier and probably make it work better and less scary, please let me know in the comments below. Please leave a thumbs up for all the hard work I spent on this creation and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next episode. I'll be streaming sometime this weekend. I don't know exactly when, but I will let you guys know. Thank you for watching this and doing the trial and error with me. This has been crazy and it's been awesome. I'll see you guys in the next one.